I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's a defunct robot prototype. It's a strange device with a red button. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. It's a fingerprint reader to open the safe. It only works for Uncle Chuck. There's something written on it. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. It's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare, hard to find. Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. Ah, oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Lenore. Dolores. If you came for the will reading, you might as well leave now and save yourself the disappointment. Uncle Chuck had a new favorite niece before he passed. <laughs> also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. 
Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a you-know-what. A game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh! You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Ugh, stop bothering Peter. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Stop bothering Chucky. It's just an old phone. One of the few things in this mansion that's not Tron enhanced. It's my next lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. He definitely screwed me. Hi there, this is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. Try me later. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Hi, Dolores. 
Welcome back to Thimbleweed. <laughs> Shame to hear about Chuck's death. He was a great man. Dude was charming and smart and full of integrity. Sure. Still working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. You're an inventor? Well, not exactly. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? Well, me, for one. My uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human, after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barf-tastic. How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT? Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. The town looks pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while, and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. <laughs> oh yeah! I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. It's funny. I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. You work for Mucus Phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. See ya, Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. It's a very dark... The AT25 tube is mysteriously missing. I need a tube puller to install the tube. Hello, Dolores. How's life in the big city? Having a lot of fun. Interested in a little interview for the award-winning Nickel? I'm sure our readers would be fascinated. I don't think so. The town is pretty mad at me for abandoning my uncle. It's a perfect way to get your side of the story out. Local girl makes good making... making... What is it you make again? Adventure games. Ah, games! You mean, for kids? No, our main audience is adults. Lots of shooting and killing, that sort of thing. Adventure games are all about story and characters. Sounds like something I would like. I'm writing a novel. It's about the first female president in 2017. <laughs> I didn't know you wrote fantasy. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Dolores.
I'm not sure why I stopped by. That's okay. I know times are tough for you. I'm a little confused over my feelings for Uncle Chuck. He was a complex man. Mind if we talk some more about Uncle Chuck? Oh, I could write a whole book about his ego and arrogance. What else do you think about Uncle Chuck? He was a charmer that could manipulate a crowd. Can we talk some more about Uncle Chuck? Deep down, do you think he was a good person? I'm sure he thought he was. That, I know. I'm not sure why I stopped by. That's okay. I know times are tough for you. I think I need to go. Thanks for talking, Natalie. Bye, Dolores. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Chuck's passing. Bye, Natalie. Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. It's a door to the hotel ballroom and event space area. It's locked. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. It's been a long time. What happened to your bakery? Oh, I had to pivot. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business has really slowed down. I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. And I can see how busy you are selling tubes. Oh, Dolores, you always had such a good sense of humor. This is evening. You should see how busy it is in the afternoon. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This is a top-of-the-line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes in the TX and AT class.
It's a TX1138 tube, and it looks burned out. It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX113. It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX1138 size tube. That's a WC67. It's a BB19 tube, in perfect condition. That should fix it. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Big City Agent Arenos actually solved the murder? I'll take that. Let's see what it says, Areno. Oh. Blah, Reno, blah, Reno, oh, blah, Reno. Ah, Willie T. Wino. Just as I suspected, Areno. Yeah, I'll be right back. Willie, you are under arrest, Areno, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? What? Come with me, Areno. Well, Willie Arena, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Arena? These feds will break you. You want to close this case, Arena? Have at him. Do you think we should play good cop, bad cop? What else would we play? I'll play bad cop. I'm the bad cop, and she's the good cop. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell him that. Well, I'm not good cop, bad cop. I did it, I did it! I killed the man by the bridge just to watch him die. Anything else you want to confess to? I also kidnapped the Lindbergh baby. Anything else you want to confess to? I'm D.B. Cooper, and I stole all the money. Keep talking, murder boy. I'm Jack the Ripper. Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I took the beef. Blab on. You can't beat good cop, bad cop. I'm the Zodiac Killer. Anything else you want to confess to? Uh, I killed Jimmy Hoffa for the mob. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't mess with the feds. I'm glad I caught the killer, and we can finally leave this stinkhole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah. I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. 